Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The way the content is going right now in FIFA 23 Ultimate Team, there is one clear investment and some specific cards that everybody is buying right now on this game that I think you should be buying as well. I want to talk about that in today's video and take a look at the upcoming content and leaks as to why we might be, need to be buying some of these cards. We're going to talk about a lot of the market today. Look back at last year on FIFA 22 and how the market in this specific area moved like crazy during this next last week of team of the season and beyond and also today's the guaranteed Serie A team of the season SBC day we'll take a look at how cards might move on the market today on Wednesday and will we get the first taste of maybe some leaks or information about ultimate tots which is our next week of team of the season so we're going to take a look at that today and of course don't forget this is the last full day before division rivals rewards make sure you claim your objectives however far you are if you're grinding out the last bit of XP I'm almost there for level 30 been taking my sweet time there is probably not more xp dropping but make sure you claim everything in there if you've left anything or if you're waiting to finish stuff today's the last day to do that so all that and more in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new let's look over yesterday's content as we normally do really quick to start off the video we did have a couple of sbcs yesterday of course we started off with a sergey milinkovic savage player sbc and the card in my opinion is not that bad. It's also not that amazing. It's just kind of there in the middle. 120,000 coins though. Very, very doable price range. He is lengthy on a number of chemistry styles. I personally put an anchor on this card, used him in the cup, and uh, he's pretty good, guys. It's that five-star Wii foot and the high, high work rates for me that do the business, especially on that lengthy chemistry style. He's a great stay back CDM for 120,000 coins. I think he's a little bit better than Labatka. That's just my personal opinion. I know he's a bit more expensive than this Labatka vodka card is but i like this more big physical type player in the midfield to pair up with some smaller guys like tonali like Barella, that are some the speedier and, and shiftier guys right more conte-esque i like having that Vieira type pogba type player in the midfield that is tall with the long legs and he's got the long legs the interceptions he's got it all so i'm a big fan of that malinkovich savage it's a mid card though if you take a look at it but he was good for me in the cup so i'll rate that card decently high in my opinion we had another daily sbc pack to grind the e champions league final pack which is an 84 times five pack and i think if i remember correctly this is going to be coming back every single day and it's all based around the e champions league um playoffs and pro event that is going on i think it starts today yeah this sbc is refreshing today on this game we're going to be able to do it again, and it's actually a really, really solid price. It's only about 37,000 coins to do, and if you take a look at the market, especially on the cheapest team of the season and team of the week cards, all team of the week cards went up about 1,000 coins yesterday. Were, these guys were all discard, and now they are all 12,000 coins as people are buying those to do that SBC, and then also since team of the seasons are required in that, where it's, you know, it's team of the week or team of the season, all team of the week cards are now they were about 24,000 coins they're down a little bit but these guys were all 24,000 coins yesterday during the peak demand of that SBC and that is another reason why I'm really glad we've been talking about buying some informs and buying some tots cards because really these cards are not going to stop going down they're going to start going up and not kind of stay low they're going to start to rise and we'll talk more about them in this video a bit later we also had the league of portugal guaranteed which of course we had some of our most rare cards gonzalo ramos and pedro gonzalez go up after the pack was released i bought a pedro gonzalez before the pack at 5 30 sold him at 6 30 uh, and i saw that gonzalo ramos went up like 15k or something like that so Good times to trade with those yesterday. Uh, another cheap SBC there. Not too much crazy content to write home about yesterday, but we did have that store pack. And I feel like this kind of fell off the radar of hype for a bit because we had so many other things going on. But EA finally dropped that Elite on Icon Cheer Pack. And it was uh, added to the code a couple of weeks back. And we were like, man, whenever EA drops this pack, it's going to destroy the market. Well, they dropped it yesterday. It didn't quite destroy the market. But, man, if I was to open a 500k pack on this game, especially with coins, I would open the TOTS Elite Pack instead of this one. You only get 50 players in this one. Yes, the draw is you get a Team of the Year Foot Birthday or World Cup Icon card. And just as the pack weight shows, 53% of a World Cup Icon. We saw a lot of Casillas 
Bobby Moore, and uh, those types of players yesterday. There's a couple full birthdays that we saw, but it was like Rui Costa and Barnes, and uh, I didn't see that many really insane, insane players. So I feel like if you're going to spend hard-earned coins on this and not just gamble on it with FIBA points, um, especially go for this 500k pack, Tata lead pack. I think it's better because you get the 50 more players and you're probably more likely to get a Tots card with that. Now, there could be Tots cards in this one too, but let's be honest, this is an, basically the top tier, highest level of gamble you can have in this game. But there's a really high tier reward, right? I, there was people that got Team of the Year Dino yesterday. You know, you could have gotten some other really insane Team of the Year foot birthday uh, icons inside of that. So, again, very top tier gamble, but one that is probably not the smartest to do, especially myself. I almost, guys in the chat yesterday were trying to get me to open that pack as we were streaming live on Twitch, link down below in the description. But the way that I was putting it is, those packs are going to be available in the store for a long time, and there are so many more insane SBCs to drop during the end of team of the season. We've got all the end of an era is coming, right? We talked about that in yesterday's uh, double upload video. We'll touch on it again today. So many more great SBCs are coming, and we haven't had like really insane upgrade packs and like player picks yet and guys over the summer there are going to be some crazy ones so i'm yes of course having a lot of coins but also i'm going to continue to be careful with those because i know there's some big stuff to come and most likely that pack is going to be 500k coins down the drain since we don't spend fever points around here so that's the way that i see it but especially if you're opening with fever points it is a fun gamble. So that's too much about that. But let's move on to the premise of today's video, guys. The cars that people are buying right now in this game. I've started to fill up my trades for this and even the club with some of these cards. We've been talking about it. It's fodder. We're talking about fodder cards and investing because the window, I think, is really short here for this investment. We've got like one or two opportunities between now and this weekend. And I think after that, these prices are going to start going up, right? I think they're going to start rising because there's going to be a lot of demand for SBCs on this game. Now, of course, we're getting an SBC today that might require Team of the Season cards as well with the guaranteed Serie A pack, which we'll talk about that in a second. I'm not just buying any of these TOTS cards, though, or Team of the Weeks or fodder ratings. I'm kind of going all over the place and that's what i want to start to start talking about today why would we want to invest in fodder right now on a random wednesday right well the first thing is remember that 90 plus icon pick let's talk about this right it's all about it comes down to two things the content is coming this week and the timing of the year that we are in and kind of the end of team of the season first off with the timing right Th today on wednesday is the last day for the weekendly rewards to be paid out in the morning that's the last bit of supply specifically for those gold team of the week cards and with this icon Icon player pick refreshing tomorrow. We, again, we said in yesterday's video, we were going to talk about it today. This SBC refreshes tomorrow, and we know how this impacted fodder on the weekend. I really do believe that tomorrow on Thursday, people are going to, going to get their rivals rewards, their milestone rewards, because it's the end of the season. And you're probably going to see these, uh, a lot of people going out and completing this player pick. That's why I'm looking at fodder very heavily and very strategically. And yes, this is where a lot of people are investing right now, but that doesn't scare me because of the time of the year that we are in. So we've got big SBCs upcoming with that 90 plus player pick. And then of course, at the same time, as we talked about in yesterday's video, end of an era cards are coming right only one of these is confirmed still milner's the only confirmed leak but zlatan benzema guys like firmino busquets pk jordi alba so many names you could throw out there for potential end of an era sbcs as we're going to get one per day in this ultimate tots upcoming this next week if you want to check out that video we did deep dive on this yesterday if you didn't look at it i'll post it right up here um but make sure you check that one out if you have not but with those sbcs upcoming there is just so much demand that is going to be dropping uh, in the SBCs. And that means people are going to need fodder. And what have we had so much during theme of the season? We've had supply on fodder from weekend league rewards with the tradable packs, the lightning rounds, but also we have had TOTS cards. And again, fodder prices have been down bad, but I think they're going to start moving up. And here's also the timing part of this thing that I want to talk to you about as well. Let's start with gold cards, right? 86 rated Mats Hummels last year. Team of the season ultimate last year started on Friday, June 10th. 86 is right there. We're 8K, really low last year. I mean, that's almost the prices of 85s right now this year. But you see, after Ultimate Tots Friday, what happened for the next month? From the middle, beginning of June, 8,000 coins, 7,000 coins for Hummels. He started going up to price peaks of 17K, 15, basically over 11, 10, 11,000 coins for the next whole entire month into the latter part of June and July as we started getting some really crazy summer 
content. I think that sort of thing is going to start happening as well with the uh, with the fodder. So we're looking at that low tier fodder. I know it's kind of a longer hold, but let me show you 88s as well. Sterling went from 18, 16, 17,000 coins all the way up to like 25k and then held a solid price of above 22 to 23 to 26,000 coins in that next month with a couple of spikes in there as well. And then look at 91 O block, right? Start of June, you have ultimate tots, 33K, right? 91s right now are about 30,000 coins. He went all the way to 60K almost in July as well. And that's just the gold cards, guys. The real investment here is team of the season and team of the week cards. Look what these did last year. Understall, probably the most famous card last year of team of the season for making people coins as an out of packs toss investment. During that last week of TOTS, we've already seen it happen, right? TOTS cards were like 18, 19K. They've already gone up to about 22K. These cards went from about 18K last year up to about 25K. But then after Team of the Season ended and EA was still requiring these in SBCs, this guy went all the way to 80,000 coins. Now, granted, that was only in a month's time. That's a crazy rise for one month. And it may not happen that way this year because again we're in a combined market it's all new it all depends on the content that ea dropped they've already dropped a tradable team of the week sbc which makes you think they maybe would drop a tradable team of the season sbc at some point too but i think there is a very good chance that we can double our money on some of these team of the season cards that are impacts this year uh, and i think they'll have a rise here's another example it's not just 87 rated understall 88 rated banana banana man uh, he's in this year's tots as well. Make jokes about it um, about him. He went from 22,000 coins all the way up to 85k as well. All tots cards went crazy high last year, almost like stupid high. Again, could they go to 50k this year? Absolutely. Will they go to 80k? Who knows? But if they go from 20,000 coins to 50k in two weeks, that's almost that's actually one week from June 10th. He went from 21,000 coins. Okay, a little bit higher, 26,000 coins up to 50K. That's a doubling in price in literally a week's time. That is phenomenal, right? So what I would do right now and what I will tell you to do is get on the market. Whether you want a short-term fodder investment, you're going to buy some golds for that player pick that's dropping tomorrow and you're going to sell then. Or if you want a longer-term hold that you might be able to hold on to for a month, we are at that buy time, I do believe. And like we've said, prices have already started to go up. Kim Min J, I bought one on, uh, what was it? Like right here for like 19K on the weekend. And he's already gone up, right? He's 22, 23,000 coins. But seriously, guys, I don't see too much more dropping on these card prices. It's just up from here on out. I like the 90 rated's the best because those for me are still low enough at the highest rating, right? All TOTS cards are about 22, 23,000 coins as we just saw. So if you're buying the highest rated possible at that rating, I think that gives you um, a higher percentage chance of that card price going up more. So that's why I'm taking a look at the 90 rated cards right now. Like Ricardo Horta at 23,000 coins. I will take that. That's pretty good for the transfer list. I've just been stocking a lot of these in the club and putting a couple of them on the transfer list as well. And that's what I would recommend you do. Now, again, the thing I will say is this is a longer term hold. This is an investment that you're probably, is this the right in DA? I think this is it, uh, the one right here. Uh, maybe it's not 25K, 28K. Oh yeah, the flipping undercuts there. That's the problem. Uh, this is a longer term hold. We're, we're talking a couple of weeks. You'll probably have to hold these cards before you start to see uh, the payout and you start to see the dividends in these cards and the prices going up. So that's just one thing I do want to point out and to say, but I think this is really, really good investment opportunity on these TOTS cards and also with team of the weeks, right? And I'm not just looking at 90s. I'm looking at 91s as well because um, I'm sure 91s, like we saw the graph on Oblock last year, Oblock went from 30K up to 55K. These 91 rated TOTS cards last year probably went up to about 80K as well, just like these other ones did. It was all about the team of the season requirements that made these guys go crazy, crazy high. So stock the 89s, uh, the 90s, the 91s, put one in the club if you're on a lower budget or stock some on your transfer list and forget about them for like two weeks and we'll see where they are. But I think that just means there are big price rises and, and big potential for profits there. Um, and then same thing with inform cards, right? What did we say earlier this week? I was looking at 86, 87, and 88 rated inform cards. They've started to go up a little bit, but it's the same thing here is that these cards, yes, they've started to go up, but even with a tradable team of the week pack that refreshes like every couple of weeks, some of these 87 rated informs, 86 rated informs are, are staying at pretty low prices, which make them still pretty investable to me. Now I'm looking at the 84 Sorloth. I, I want the 87. 
right? I was buying 87 rated informs at 14K. Now it looks like they're around 16. You really want that under 15K range, I believe, for a lot of these cards. But like, oh, Nate, where did informs go last year? Uh, Milinkovic Savage inform 87 rated at the start of or at the end of the team of the season was 26,000 coins. This year, 87 rated informs are what did we just look at? 16K, right? That's even cheaper than it was last year. 26K, he went all the way to 70,000 coins as well in early July because it was a team of the season or a team of the week requirement. So I like team of the week investments really, really good right now because they're even cheaper than team of the seasons. There might even be more profit after tax on those because they are still lower priced than team of the season cards. So that is my big massive like message to you is at least do a club stock. This is something that with all the content that I expect EA to drop over the summer, this is why I've started stocking up cards in my transfer list. Not necessarily so that I can sell these guys in like a month's time and, and make coins, right? You can definitely take a look at that angle from that. But more so what I'm doing this for is when I'm doing all the SBCs during the summer, I got to have TOTS cards and I would rather have TOTS cards in my club that I bought for 23,000 coins then actually be waiting uh, to try to pack one from another sort of uh, upgrade SBC, waiting on EA to drop, or, you know, happen to go and buy one off the market for 50,000 coins. Now, again, like I said, oh, 18K, that's a real big undercut there for Horta. Um, like I said, I don't expect a team of the seasons to go to 80K like they did last year. That's probably a little unrealistic. Who expected that to happen uh, even on last year's game? But could I see them going to like 40 to 50,000 coins, especially in like a week or two? Absolutely. And that's why I love the potential of this investment on the TOTS cards, on the team of the weeks. And then like I even mentioned as well, on, on the, the cheaper tier, like the gold cards, the 85s last year, we looked at that uh, Hummels that was 86 rated. That was like 8K that ended up going all the way to 16 to 17. We're going to have a lot of SBCs next week with these end of an era cards and more content upcoming with shapeshifters being the next promo. Guys, fodder is just a buy, buy, buy on almost all different levels for a hold that you're going to have to wait for a couple of maybe weeks, maybe at least a couple of days, but it's a really, really good time to club stock. And again, that's why I wanted to point out a lot of that in today's video um, and just really, really mention that. So speaking of fodder, let's turn the tie into today. Let's stop looking ahead. Let's look at today in the here and now. Team of the season guaranteed Serie A pack. Definitely going to be dropping today on this game. That's the normal schedule. We kind of know the vibes, right? You're looking at Serie A cards today in this pack. It's... um. Probably going to be the same rinse and repeat scenario that we see every single Wednesday. Wow, Cavaradona is a 2 million coins flat. That's the lowest that I've seen his card. Some of these guys today, um, ooh, Lautaro is kind of low as well. Lautaro was like 560k yesterday at one point. Now he's 530, so he's down a little bit as well. Some of these guys are looking pretty low. Rabio is 835. This might be a decent time if in the really short term, you want to buy a card and play with it like today on Wednesday, finish your rivals games or something. I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm not going to buy too many of these cards or even look to trade with too many of these cards today because once again, I just feel like with ultimate team of the season looming, it's there. We're worried about it. You see the market dropping off just about everywhere. Everybody is panicking and getting ready for this ultimate team of the season. And prices have continued to go down, right? We've seen that. I just don't feel like there's going to be too many of these guys today that will have positive price movements after the guaranteed that it would be worth buying before we get to ultimate tots. Unless you're going to play with that card for today, then I would say, ooh, a guy like Dybala at a million coins, that's really cheap. Uh, Lautaro Martinez, Barella, some of these most rare and the most hyped cards. The same thing that we had yesterday with the Pedro uh, Gonsalves, right? He went from 550k up to over 600,000 coins because he's rare and nobody packed him from the guaranteed even though they were hoping to and they wanted to build out a couple teams and try out the card, right? That's the same thing with Serie A today. So keep a close eye on some of these cards. I'm going to try to pick up this Altaro on a cheeky bid if I can, because that's a really, really low price for him. But if it's going to be a quick flip for you today, you could look at some of these Serie A's. Just be careful because, again, if we get a loading screen today for Ultimate Tots, which is not a guarantee, but it's a possibility because Wednesday loading screens have been the common theme. Um, I just think it would be quick flips only. I would not mess around with many of these guys unless you're just trying to like buy a card to try it out and then you're going to sell it before Friday. Because again, guys, I really think this next week the market is going to be 
hurting. So that's kind of the safe play there, but there probably will be some fluctuations uh, today on this game. Other than that today, what are we expecting, right? Wednesday, Silver Stars. Um, I don't think they're going to drop XP in there today, but there should be a Silver Stars player today on this game. And then player SPCs, right? We have one more massive leak, and we talked about it on stream yesterday. And men, this is giving me some like, okay, EA is turning up even at the end of Serie A Team of the Season vibes. A Chiesa Tots moments is expected to come. And uh, I don't know when this is going to drop. I would have to be either today or tomorrow at the end of Serie A Tots, unless this is going to be a, uh, an SBC that is kind of related to Ultimate Team of the Season, because I'm sure we're going to get a Team of the Season SBC this Friday for Ultimate Tots as well. It could be on Friday too. That's something to think about and, can, and consider. But this could be a really, really nice card. It's giving me like Royce vibes, right? But Chiesa is always meta in game. He's four star, four star. I would say, I would tell you this, looking at his road to the final card that is on this game, uh, don't assume that his new card would have all of the traits because again, he got a lot of traits added from his base version because he was a live card and that was one of the upgrades for his item, right? So he's only got outside foot speed dribbler and long shot taker on his base card but you give this 91 rated card like a plus two or a plus three and man that is going to be a very very cracked card now yesterday his price dropped off a ton i bought a couple here at 235 i sold at about uh 280 because i wasn't sure if his sbc was going to drop i took the safe cash he went all the way back of 340,000 coins he's probably going to drop again today into content as people will maybe think that his SBC is going to drop today, but that's when it could be really exciting, especially if they give him a four-star weak foot, sorry, a five-star weak foot or five-star skills. Don't know if that's going to be today. Still have Cordoba, still have Eusebio, still have a couple names out there for SBCs. Outstanding. But again, speaking of fodder on the short term for today, you've got an 81 times 11 that's refreshing today. You've got an 84 times five that is refreshing today as well. So for those 84s it was 85s i mean 85s didn't have that big of a spike yesterday but they did go from 8k once again and they spiked to up around 9,000 coins i think if you get 85s under 8k that's like a no-brainer buy uh, they will go up it just they're not fluctuating as much because i think it really has to do with the player picks that we have right now right a lot of people can get fodder from doing player picks and the premium upgrades as well give out a good amount of fodder even though they don't give out a ton of blues I did pack four blues yesterday. I got a duplicate Di Maria, um, a duplicate small lane, and then I don't even remember who else I got. It, it wasn't that insane. I th oh, I got a duplicate Barella as well. Yesterday was a day of duplicates, man. I can't believe that I've packed two Barellas now. It was absolutely wild. Um, but uh, they were giving out. I got lucky in a couple of packs, but it seemed like they weren't giving out at first, and then we just kind of had some luck later on. But the 8111, I think a lot of people will do, and you'll see some fodder move for that just because it seems like that is an SBC that does actually give out on this game so that's kind of the video for today guys i know it's a lot of info a lot of talk about investing on fodder and uh again if you did not check out yesterday's double upload about the end of an air stuff we deep dove into that there that's where i bought the zlatan for 1.2 sold it for 1.5 because of his panic selling yesterday and uh, i'm gonna keep my coins pretty liquid except for a fodder investment because content upcoming looks pretty good and uh i think ultimate tots is really gonna hurt this market next week on this game so if you enjoyed the video today again drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new it's the native account i'll see you guys in the stream today peace